Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. The time has finally come to start decking my home for the holidays. I am so excited and I'm so excited to take you along and show you how I decorate. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you along and showing you how I decorate my dining room. This is one of my favorite rooms in my home to decorate and I always love starting in here. Hopefully this will give you some inspo for decorating your home as well. And if you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and crafting here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a yummy peppermint mocha, sit back, relax, and let's get to decorating. Kicking off my Christmas decorating, putting up my new King of Christmas Christmas tree. This is a seven and a half foot queen flock slim tree. I love their trees. This is my fourth tree from them. I love that it's shipped right to your door. So easy to put up. See my daughter Eden putting it up and it automatically lights up. It also comes with a remote that has a timer and different light functions too. Then I like to go down to my basement with a big basket and shop my Christmas bins as opposed to lugging up all of my bins. Then I collect the things in the basement from the bins, put it in a big basket and bring that basket up with things that I may wanna decorate with in my dining room. So here are some things I've grabbed, lots of greens of course and wreaths, some ornaments. I also found some bells and then I also grabbed a Christmas candle to make it smell so cozy and Christmassy. So I just have it all in my basket and then I'll be able to shop my basket for when I'm decorating. I decided to also make some ornaments for the tree. So I have these clear plastic ornaments. You can find them at all the craft stores in Dollar Tree. I had these on hand. I'm also using apple barrel paint in the color Burnt Umber from Walmart. I have some plastic gloves. I also had some skewers with, that I stuck in some floral foam. You could use a box too. I went to go get a box, but I had floral foam, so I used that. So I'm just gonna take some of my paint and then I'm going to mix it with some baking soda. There's really no ratio. Well, at least for me, there isn't. I just kind of mix the baking soda with the paint and then I'm going to do several coats, letting it dry in between onto the ornaments until it creates this really beautiful texture. I also took the hooks off and I'm just going to spray paint those brown and black to give it a really nice color too. Once the first coat of paint is dried, I'm going to apply a second coat with the paint mixed with the baking soda again. Before the paint is dry, I'm actually going to sprinkle it with some flour and then tap off the excess. Now I've made these before where I would use baking soda, but I ran out of my baking soda. I used to the rest of it in the paint. So I figured I'd try flour to give it that same consistency. So I just am gonna sprinkle it on and then tap that excess off and then let these dry. And now I'm going to apply the third and final coat on top of the flower and let these dry. Once the tree is all fluffed, it is time to start decorating it. Here are the beautiful ornaments I made. I love the way they turned out. I love the texture of them. You never think that they were just plain plastic ornaments to begin with. I also am going to add some other ornaments, including these beautiful hearth and hand ornaments that I've had for years. And I love using them on my trees every year. And then I go for a very simple look. So I'm just gonna take some ribbon and I love this beautiful ribbon that I got on Amazon. I love the color of it. And I'm just gonna simply hang some of the ribbon, just tying it on some of the branches. Mm -hmm. 
And here are more ornaments I'm going to use. I love storing my plastic ornaments that all coordinate together in large plastic baggies, so it makes it easy to grab my ornaments from year to year. I also love these ornaments and I'm going to add them in the tree, actually placing the top of the ornament inside a branch and then I wrap the hook around one of the branches so it almost looks like a berry sitting in between the branches. Moving on to the hutch, I'm keeping it very simple. Most of this decor that is on top of the hutch is there all the time. I just added this beautiful garland, which is part of my Tattered Tulip Christmas collection. I'll include a link for it down below. And I'm also gonna take these ornaments, which are part of the collection as well. And I'm gonna take some of that ribbon again, and I'm going to simply string it through the bell and then kind of have a drape over the bell on top of the hutch. Next to my hutch, I added this large oversized lantern and I'm going to add some greens and some more ribbon to the top of it. Moving on to the top of my hutch, I'm gonna add this beautiful, I call it a droopy garland. It is so pretty. It is also part of my Tatter Tulip collection. There's so much you can do with it, but I love the way it drapes and it is so realistic too. So I place it on top of my clock and then in the pictures, I'm gonna add some greens and I'm gonna also add one of the bells next to one of the pictures too. I love adding wreaths to my mirrors, especially for the holidays. And this beauty is also part of my Tatter Tulip collection. It is so realistic. It's gorgeous. I love the way it looks. It's also great, not just for Christmas, but throughout winter too. So I added that on top of my mirror. And then I'm adding some candlesticks with my favorite flameless candles on top. And then this beautiful mango wood bowl. I'm gonna add a candle ring inside of it. And then these beautiful ornaments, the bowl, the ornaments, and this candle ring are also part of my Tatter Tulip Christmas collection as well. And I'm also gonna add this nutcracker that I found at Home Goods. I shared this with you also during my Home Goods Christmas shop with me. And I love the way it looks here on the table too. I also decided to add some bells to the wreath. These bells I got last Christmas at Tatter Tulip. Moving on to the table, I am keeping it so, so simple. I have this beautiful vase that I got at Home Goods. It was on sale. It's in the floral section for 50% off. So I think it was, it was under $20 and I love it. I have several of them because I love it. Then I'm adding some of these cedar stems that I got probably a few years ago at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna add four of those into here as well, along with some more of those bells.
the runner charger and plates I have here all the time. I'm not changing those out, but I'm going to add a little pizzazz, I guess, to the napkins. So I'm just gonna use some more of that ribbon and I'm going to tie it around the napkins and then add a little piece of that cedar too. Again, keeping it very simple because I wanna enjoy having not just Christmas dinner here, but we love sitting in here and having dinner and I just wanted to have this part of the dining room simplified. So I have plates here and food here. It's not moving a lot on and off and I just, Love the simple look that this dining table has. And these candlesticks, along with my favorite flameless taper candles that are on a timer, are also part of my Tatter Tulip collection. I'll include a link for it in the description below. I've been so excited to decorate this space for Christmas. I hung these corbels and shelf up earlier this year. So this is my first year decorating it. So to the hooks, I'm adding a wreath along with some bells and some stockings that I got several years ago um, in the Target dollar spot. Then I'm adding another vase with some of the cedar picks. And then these are my deer that I found at Dollar General for $5 that I spray painted black. On the shelf, I'm adding this adorable house. This was part of my Tatter Tool of Christmas collection that sold out, but I also added some more of the greens. I love it in the basket. The bells are actually from Amazon. I'll include a link for those in the description below. And the Merry Christmas sign is also from my Christmas collection too. On my blanket ladder, I added some greens in this basket. The greens are also part of my collection. And in the hallway leading to my dining room, I added these beautiful bells, also part of my Tatter Tulip Christmas collection. And here is my dining room, all decked out for the holidays.
Okay, guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it gave you some decorating inspo for your home as well. Give this a big thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed the most. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, follow me over on Facebook or Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for joining me here today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.